Tom, is it your intention to choose this woman, Suzanne, to be your honored and cherished wife, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to care for her and to respect her and to be her companion and her friend and forsaking all others to be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? Yes, I do. Well, and Suzanne, is it your intention to choose this gentleman, Tom, to be your honored and cherished husband, to live together in the holy state of matrimony? Do you promise to care for him and to respect him and to be his companion and his friend and forsaking all others to be faithful to him so long as you both shall live? I do. Very well. Now, I understand you have some very special words that you've written for one another. Uh, Suzanne, would you like to go first? Sure. Okay. My dearest Tommy, from the moment I first saw you and you smiled that beautiful smile, I was smitten. And then as we talked, I hung on your every word, marveling at how passionate how giving, how caring about others you are. And I knew in that instant that you were the one. The one I can laugh with, cry with, be amazed at life's wonders with, be completely, totally serious with, and completely and totally childlike as well. You help so many people, Tommy. I've seen the beautiful miracles God works through you and how you change people's lives, giving them comfort and peace and happiness. Sometimes they've never known those things before. And I realize how humble I am in your presence. How totally in awe I am of the extraordinary person that you are. And how incredibly proud I am today to become your wife. I will always stand through by you through everything that life brings our way. Ahead of us lies some challenges, challenges that together we will overcome. And ahead of us lies happiness that together we will laugh our way through. And each and every single day, the God gives us the blessing of being with each other. I promise to do everything in my power to make you feel cherished cherished in the same way you already make me feel every day. And my dearest Tommy, when you are 106 and I'm 97 and we celebrate our golden wedding anniversary, I'm going to remind you of a wondrous seal we saw on the beach one day and that very special miracle we witnessed and what seeing that miracle meant to both of us. And I'm going to say to you in a very soft and loving whisper, God told us so. The real magic moment when I knew you were the person I wanted to spend my life with was when we were sitting in the movie theater watching the next movie that night eating popcorn and we had our first kiss. Remember that? That was magic and wonderful, and I knew that God had brought us together so that both of us could find heaven here on earth. When I look into your eyes, I see love and true beauty. Beauty is not all looks. It's kindness, it's joy, it's fun, it's honesty, it's compassion, it's wisdom, and it's thoughtfulness. We knew we were meant for each other, and I even bought you the wedding ring just a few months after we met, because I knew that we were meant to be together. I will treat you with kindness, respect, honor, and love. You are the miracle of life, and God has brought this miracle of your love into my life. I thank God every day for you, Suzanne. I'm so happy you're marrying me and I love you so much.
Wow. <laughs> More heartfelt words have probably not been heard by anyone here recently. <laughs> wow, that's very special. Inasmuch as Tom and Suzanne have consented together to marriage before all of you, have pledged their lives and declared their unity, by the authority vested in me, I pronounce that they are, at last, husband and wife. Tommy, you know what to do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor and privilege to introduce to you for the very first time, Tom and Suzanne, husband and wife. <laughs> Tommy. 